My quest for answers into the disappearance of Madeline McCann took me all over the beautiful town of Praia de Luz in Portugal. With my guide Richard Atkins, we tracked down people close to the McCanns and journalists close to the investigation. It was time to speak with the only other official suspect in the case, a local realtor named Robert Murat. I think really he stood out because he lived only 60, 70 meters from, uh, from where Madeline uh, was taken. And Robert made statements that Maddie reminded him of his own three-year-old daughter that he'd lost custody of back in England. I just wondered if there's any way we could arrange an, an, an interview with, with Robert uh, at some point. Yeah, that'd be great. Um, so this is Ro Robert's aunt and uncle. Hi, Sally. How are you? You know, maybe there's a time we can speak tomorrow and maybe touch base with you. We understand he can't say certain things about the case. That was encouraging. She's confirmed 9.30 Friday morning, giving me the address. She's going to put the coffee on, she says. <laughs> you must be Sally. How do you do? Hi, John. Hi, nice to meet you. This is Robert Murat, my cousin. Hi, John. How are you? Hey, Robert. Nice to meet you. I, I know you can't talk about the case. Robert Murat, my cousin cannot speak on camera because he's in an aguido status, which means I have to be his voice for him. He's not allowed to speak. How did Robert become part of this in the first place? Uh, Robert spoke to somebody who was a friend of Jerry's and said, look, I can help if you want. I speak the two languages, so uh, Portuguese and English. And from then on, he proceeded to uh, help uh, some of the press, and then he helped the police. If he was being so helpful, at what point did this thing just take a turn for the worse for Robert. It was just one journalist that decided that uh, he looked suspicious because he lived close by, because he was overhelpful. You know, she thought he fitted the profile from a case in England uh, where a man called Ian Huntley had murdered two little girls. And he was very helpful to the police and very helpful to the press. So they actually thought that there was a similarity in Robert's behavior over with Ian Huntley, which is absolute rubbish. Detectives interrogated Robert and searched his property extensively looking for Maddie's body. There were rumors of a secret lair under the house. The house is sloping, so while the house is sloping, there is a gap that they'd put up a little wall, and it, it was so tiny, there was a, the inclination was probably that much to that much. I mean, it was nothing but it was made out to be a huge cave, underground cave. It was extraordinary. I mean, like everything in this case, everything is blown out way out of proportion. Has Robert offered to take a lie detector test? They don't do it in Portugal. He said he would take it if the Portuguese police would agree to it. Not a problem. I have to ask this. Did Robert have anything to do with Madeline's disappearance? Absolutely not. He was 100% innocent. Robert also has an alibi. His mother says they were together at home the night Maddie vanished. So where does that leave us? I think Maddie was abducted, possibly by a network of child traffickers or a child predator who targeted this beautiful young girl and snatched her quickly and quietly. But I strongly believe that Madeline is out there. I don't believe Madeline has been taken away from us permanently. I don't believe her. My gut feeling tells me that the answer to what happened to Madeline is right here in this resort town. I don't have any doubt. Somebody here knows something, and they're just not talking. And that's where you can help tonight. We need to bring Maddie home, and the rest of the pieces in this puzzle should fall into place. This is a sketch of a man seen carrying a child near the McCann's apartment the night Maddie vanished. For a closer look, log on to amw.com. Also, Maddie has a distinctive feature on the pupil of her right eye that shouldn't be too hard to spot. If you've seen Madeline McCann or know anything about this case, call us right now at 1-800-CRIME-TV.